Hey guys, this is King Todd. Welcome back to another gameplay video. Today I'll be showing off a game called The Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Uh, this is pretty much the new version that they came out without the subscription fees. So you pretty much just buy the game, jump in and play without having to pay for monthly fees. Uh, this game is actually out on the PC, Xbox One, and PS4. I'm actually playing this on the PC. Uh, so far I probably have about 28 hours logged in. Somewhere around there. Maybe 40 by now. I have so far made three characters, three different classes. The Knight, Blade, the Sorcerer, and the Dragon Knight. And so far I've actually been enjoying the Dragon Knight. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in with my Dragon Knight. Logging in. It takes a little bit while to load. I'm actually playing this on the SSD so the time should be a lot faster than uh, playing on a hard drive at least. Here we go. So I put my FPS in the bottom left hand corner. The game allows uh, has a built in FPS in it. Cap my FPS to about 75, 76. This seems about correct. Um, I think it can go way harder than that. I just like to keep it at uh, 75. Let's see if you can find anything over here. Here's some maple logs that we can use for crafting. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to run around here and see if I can find anything else. Okay, let's check the inventory. So, of course, you can pretty much use any weapon, but... Uh, let's see, you can use a bow, you can use a staff, or anything like that, but, of course, if you're not a mage, you cannot use... Well, actually, yeah, you can use spells. I've tried it. I'll just show you on that. So, let's see, so for the craft and all that, it's pretty unique. I'll have to show you that. Um, best way to describe uh, Elder Scrolls Online at the moment is like if you played Skyrim but multiplayer. And uh, Things have never looked a lot's been changed and updated. I think they just added Thieve and it's been a while since I've actually played this. I uh, Last time I actually played uh, Elder Scrolls was the closed beta. Let's see what's in here. Uh, Ak Akai Berry. I'm not sure. Let's see what's checking here. Mint. Lotus. Okay. Hey, I like to uh, pretty much go around searching for things. There we go. So you can go to first person view and third person. So if you hit V, I'm not sure what it is for uh, controllers, but uh, you can actually go into first person. So that's a plus. You can actually have your mini map, uh, not mini map, but your uh, compass on the top, like always. Um, but. Uh, Let's see, let me put this away. Let's hit Z. Yes, there we go. Go ahead and click. Uh, let's get the insect parts for fishing. Anything else before we progress? Progress, yeah, hey. through the story. Any fishing spots? Check the map. So I am here on this island. No, I don't want to spend anything. Okay, there is a fishing spot here. Go ahead and catch a fish and then we're off. Anything? Alright, so we caught a fish. Okay. Oh, here's some iron. I almost missed that. Iron's usually used to make armors and weapons. I can show you that whenever I can get to a town. I want to try to do about 30 minutes of gameplay. Let's see. Okay, let's continue on because I actually was doing a mission for this town. Travel down the river is not cheap. It's a good thing your friend here is a fast talker. What's cool about this is actually almost everything, every NPC you talk to is actually uh, has a voice or a dialogue to it. It's all uh, narrated. Let's see. Clear water. Didn't hear a mint. 
Um, I don't know if you guys want me to address this, but for inventory sp uh, space, you, ha you can see I have 70. Uh, you can actually upgrade your uh, inventory space. I had to pay like 400 gold just to upgrade uh, from 60 to 70. Same with your bank. You can do the same thing. So uh, if you worry about space, you should be able to increase your capacity. So let's go ahead and talk. Our shellback friend here will get us to safety. He's a hero of the pact. And for what I've promised to pay him, he'd better be. I fear the Covenant would intercept us if we went straight for Darwin's Watch. So we're going to make for Dalmora, a small town down the coast. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Baldfarn. Talk to Captain. Okay. Okay, so I think I know where I'm at. Yeah, I think I know. Yes, I know where I'm at. No. Well, actually, at least this map kind of folds out. I've been through here with, uh, what's my Ar Arganian? Arganian? I have to look at the name again. I'm not good with the names. Go ahead and look up the skills. Remember there was another, uh, let's see, let's look through here real fast. Uh, since I was playing the closed beta, they gave me a monkey. I gave Bubbles. My monkey's name Bubbles. Alright, let's see. I need to change anything. Oh. I figured I would show you this, I guess. I haven't been in here myself, but uh, you can buy this. I think uh, you need actual money. I have 500 crowns. Where did I get those from? Chef's outfit, blacksmith outfit. Huh. Mounts. I'll have enough for that. For pets, I can get a dog at least. Golden Retriever. <coughs> House Cats. So I can uh, get a new pet at least. I have 500. Actually, I'm not sure what I want. I think 1500 crowns is about what? I think they said like $10, so I have to look at that. I actually don't remember. I think they updated a uh, the, the skill tree thing, whatever. Uh, what was it? Uh, it was kind of like Skyrim. They showed it before, but I can't remember how to get there. I have to check that out later. Come back and see. Anyways, let's, let's talk to uh, the captain. We're here. The villagers are safe for the moment, but the Covenant's still coming. We've got to get word to Dark. We sprint. Go to the watch. I'm okay, let's go ahead and skip. We're far south. It's the biggest. So looks like I'm level seven. Let's go ahead and level myself up. Give myself some more health. Draconic. Yes, there we go. So I have to go this way. Which is up here. Get to okay the watchtower. And head up there then. Hello. Hey, I don't think I've been here. Yeah, I can actually do some blacksmithing up here. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay, so if you have like 10 iron ore, you just click it and open here, and you'll make uh, uh, iron bars. Once you have the iron bars, you will go over here to creation. It looks like I have 46 on me, 
and you need a one Nord item. You can easily buy this from the shop. So uh, let's see what level item do I have? I'm level six. Okay, so it's a pretty good item. Okay, what about the armor? So level five, level six. Let's go ahead and make a uh, waist. Might as well. Let's go ahead and craft. And let's do legs. I need any one. I need another one of these. Let's see. Well, it was this person. The way I. Level 5 stuff. Hmm. I, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna try to buy one of those, see what they do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and take it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct a lot of these. Let's go ahead and do that. When you get rid of a item, you can have a chance unless it's uh, something you picked up for free. All it's going to do is let you uh, blacksmith and level up pretty much, and you will not get any, any iron bars back. So let's go ahead and deconstruct some of these. Items that you get from enemies, you can actually sell or and actually get items back when you deconstruct. Let's see. I'm gonna put these in my uh, retainer or bank for my other characters. I don't think I have any items to improve. Uh, so far the green's fine, blue's superior. I have yet to encounter any superior epic or legendary items yet is fine. What's what these are. Let's see. Deconstruct. Okay. Okay, so we do have some wood. Let's go ahead and get some logs out of that. Can we keep that for my mage? No, I don't have any more than that. Die station, you can die your armor. That's a little cool, cool little feature. You can hide your helmet if you don't like it. I don't like it, as you can see. And uh, I have it hidden at the moment. What? Now I need to get more of these. Is that it? I don't think I'm missing anything. Let's, get Let's go ahead and continue on to the main quest. Are we supposed to head this way? Up here. He has a quest for us. Go ahead and do it. I've lost my family. They were, of course, because they are. What am I to do? 
Criminals should beware the wrath of the shadow scales. Okay, let's double check. I have a bad habit of always open up the map and seeing if I'm going to uh, to the correct. Uh, pretty much going to the same destination. It's a very bad habit. Okay. Even though I have a compass up there, I can just follow. Actually, these are pretty good. Let's go ahead and encrypt these new boots. Level 6. That's heavy armor. All, all these are search perk, searchable. God, I'm getting hard. It's getting harder for me to uh, speak properly. It's not good. It's not good at all. Let's see, I guess because I've been talking all day. I tend to do these at late at night. So. It's better than doing them at 4 o'clock in the morning like I usually do. Let's see if we find anything. Coffee. Coffee. A snake. We didn't get anything out of that. You can easily get guts and stuff like that from it. That, uh. Oh, he's... Huh. Hold on. Alright, guys, how about that? I'm back. Let's see. So I did a little bit more of uh, looking up on Google about the skill tree I was talking about. I thought I was hitting K, and it turns out, let's see, what was it under? I think it was under help. There we go. There we go. Champion. So once you get to level 50, it's called the champion system, and that tree will pop up. Uh, kind of like Skyrim would, where you get to branch branch off to different uh, sections. To where you can put different points into uh, your, your character. Let's see. So I guess I can't do anything yet. I. Okay. So I have to come back here. Okay. Okay, guess we can fish. What are we supposed to do? Ah. And one more. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Make sure to grab the drink because my throat is pretty short sore. That's why I can't talk correctly, it sucks.
Help this fo follow. Let's see. We'll all be ground into the dirt we tend, please. Covenant scouts are setting fire to the fields, trapping us here to die. Please, there are others with me out here. You've got to find Batuas, Nolu. Alright. Please, my scales are slick. Don't send me to Sithis. I'll dance on the water, thank you. Covenant is every. I think so. Okay, and one more over here. Okay. And the last one should be up here. Everywhere I I'll meet you. Okay, so I need to get up there. Okay, let's go ahead and go in. Me 
need a blade. Greetings. So I have to head back to town. Just checking. Doing my duty. Oh, see, an item I can grab. Callie, Dolly was miss. You did, Gua friend. They're all back. Palehide is already ruling the roost. Where would they be without me? I'll get them fed and ready. Okay, you can see the light from here. Let's go ahead and. Uh... Huh? At least there's no invisible bearers. Okay, let's go ahead. So what these sky shards are there for is, let's see, can I open them up yet? Once you get a sky shard, you will be able to get an extra point if you get three of them. Basically around the world there's at least three that you can collect to get an extra skill point. If you find all of them, actually I'm not sure how many there are around the world. I've only found, I think, five so far. So far. So every, every three you find, basically you get another skill point. Let's go ahead and turn in the next. So much to do. I wish I could feel safe in town, but with the covenant and we did, thanks to you, we are forever in your debt. We will think of you always in our passage down the river. Alright, is there anything else? No quest here. This one over here. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this here. I actually wanted to show as much as I could. I showed off some of the crafting, did some combat, done some questing, pretty much played casually as I would any other. <laughs> As if I'm not recording. And, uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is pretty much kind of how the game is. I'm not sure what else I could show off at the moment, as I'm only level 7, I am. Yes, I am level 7. There's pretty sh I'm pretty sure there's going to be more that I can do, I can show off later on. I can even do a live stream, maybe, for like, live stream for an hour and a half. Who knows? Uh, it's just something I wanted to show off, and some, like, some of you guys asked me to show some of the gameplay since it came out without no subscription. Anyways guys, I'm gonna stop talking and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys, hope to see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.